What's going on YouTube? Another day, another dollar in this beautiful world we call truck driving. Finally got into a barber shop. Got me real nice and tight. You know, today is my first day of work. I'm actually about to go clock in right after this video. And uh, I'll be hanging out with Mr. Charlie for about 6 to 10 hours a day. See how that go. And then tomorrow, well really tonight, I start training with my um, with my trainer three in the morning so really that's tonight so you know after basically after i finish training uh, on this laptop i go to bed then i wake up about two three in the morning and go get in the truck see how that go but anyways man i got some questions from you guys i thought i asked one of you guys asked hey andrew glad you told me about super ego and the lease program you know i'm gonna avoid that but should i go to super ego as a company driver well a good question if it's w2 you'll be all right but me personally i wouldn't go just because the company as a whole got a real bad reputation of just no drivers or i ain't gonna say no drivers but majority of drivers not making money crying complaining uh leaving people stranded they just got a real bad reputation so i wouldn't want to be involved in that whatsoever it's just like when drivers ask me about prime meat hey, andrew i'm a new driver should i go to prime meat you know prime meat got a real good training school they're gonna get you completely trained up they got multiple trailers for you to learn on but the problem why i don't like recommending it is because majority of the people that go that was supposed to be coming as a company driver after after Mr. Charlie get that good talking going on in the orientation, that's thing you know they're in a brand new lease purchase truck thing and they finna own a truck in about four or five years. They just don't know. They just they just they in a whole nother pathway or uh, it's a long pathway. That's that's years upon years upon years of leasing. Once you start that lease at Prime Meat, you talking about the rest of your career finna be full of lease pro just bunch of leases. Just a, a pathway of leases. Uh, just, don't worry. Don't worry. If you don't believe me, just look at any and everybody else that came through Prime Meat. You own a just a long, long way of leasing. Now, I can also tell you, and I can also say, hey man, once you okay, he taught you into this lease. You think you think you're gonna be the only one in that truck? Give it a couple of months, maybe even a year. Somebody gonna be sitting in that pasture seat. You be like, God damn man. I Andrew told me about this. What, man, what are you doing here? That's your new trainee. Oh, no, don't you worry. Don't you? So that's why I don't recommend it whatsoever. But uh, like I said, great school. You definitely gonna get your training in. Uh, you can learn flatbed now, tanker, uh, reefer. Uh, you can learn all three in one. Problem is, uh, you know, whatever they doing orientation. And then keep in mind, Prime Meat been doing this since the '90s, so they got. The words that they need to say out their mouth and orientation down to a science. Every single word programs your brain to listen that truck. I'm talking about word for word for word. They don't miss no words in orientation. The same sentences they told me when I went to Prime Inc. It's the exact same sentences they going to tell you in Prime Inc., fool. Don't forget, I was at Prime Meat. I was in orientation. I know what's going on. When I was at the hotel, if they still use the same hotel, the one over there by the Walmart up there in Springfield, Missouri, the ones all not so great, that hotel right there, I was in there. I got the voucher too to get some food. I walked down to, what is that, uh, Collabs or some shit, whatever that burger shop. I, I walked down there too and walked to Walmart. My train, well, not my trainee. <laughs> One of the guys that was with me in orientation, I shared a room. They didn't, they didn't have solar rooms. We had to share a room. When he came in, they had already fed him all about the lease purchase program. He came in trying to get me. Hey, man, man, did you hear about man leasing? Man, man, damn, man, they just make so much more than the company driver. I said, man, what the hell is this leasing? That's the first time I heard about it. When, 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 when the guy that was staying in my room came in and told me about it, then sure enough, as soon as I went in there, for freaking uh, uh, the next day of orientation. They just, boom, just hit us with it. I said, man, this, this shit, 
Sounds so good. Then they had me training. <laughs> what a lease driver. What do you think he was doing? Man, let me show you my settlements, man. Look. Man, three thousand. Man, look at this man. You got the you got the train, man. Look at all this money I'm making, man. You got the train. Yeah, you got the train, man. The FMCSA conducted uh some type of program where they was letting 18 through 20 year olds, 18 through 20 year old drivers go interstate. I don't know if y'all heard about that, but apparently the uh, program is not working out too good. They say a lot of people that's between the age of 18 or 20 went interested in truck driving, so they couldn't get the amount of people that they wanted to in this thing to uh, participate. So I think they're going to do away with it, which, if you ask me, that's a real good thing. Because I'm going to tell you exactly what was going to happen. If they let 18-year-olds go interstate, whew, can you imagine if you're a drive-in driver? Now, you're already competing with low rates. The rate you ain't the, <laughs> the rates you're going to see when an 18-year-old get up in here fresh up out of high school and, and, and $500 is real good to him. Four hundred dollars a week, real good to him. He looking at four, eight, twelve, sixteen hundred a month. Sixteen hundred, man. Damn, man. I'm first out of high school. I'm making sixteen hundred a month. And here come you over there trying to talk him. Hey, man, the rates, the man, the rates, the rates. I don't care about the four. I'm making sixteen hundred a month. Hell, did you talking about some rates? And I'm driving big pip and brand new truck. And I'm paying for what's gonna be mine. They're brainwashing powerful. You ain't going to be able to tell them nothing. So if the rates are down now, just wait till 18 year old get behind the wheel of a lease truck and see. Whoo, whoo, that's why in this trucking thing, you got to learn some skills. You got you to gotta get more specialized so people that's 18 can't just get a CDL tomorrow and next thing you know they hook to the to a drive in. They sitting beside you in the dock. You want to increase your skills. That's what's gonna happen. They ain't got no 18 year old driving, no no bomb, no 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 type of fuel tanker. They ain't, ain't no 18 year old up in North Dakota. So I uh, mean, I'm just saying. Ain't no 18 year old going down the road with no no oversized, no heavy haul. <laughs> I'm just saying now. But automatic truck, damn thing, drive itself. 18 year old just got to hold the steering wheel and turn up the music and. Four hundred, three hundred dollars a week. Got a free little house. His parents was about to, if he if he got some of y'all parents, she y'all kicking him out the house at eighteen. So now he got a place to live in the truck, brand new. Oh, and just wait. Oh my God. Don't hide a dispatcher sending him to one of these, one of these states like for example, Memphis, Tennessee. Have him getting off on Highway on Lamar Avenue. Oh my God, eighteen year old. 18 year old with a brand new truck coming down Lamar Avenue and he ain't got no goddamn bills. Oh my god. Woo! Woo! Great strapping. Great strapping. But, um, enough of that situation. Just got a text message from uh, one of my subscribers. He said, Hey, Andrew, man. Man, remember I told you about that situation with my neighbor? I think I did a video on this. His neighbor was uh, asking, Should he lease a truck? And I said, Hey, man, I wouldn't tell him nothing. Don't tell him nothing. Just, hey, I don't got no opinion on you. I did tell y'all that. Well, he tells me today, the neighbor showed up in the driveway this morning with the lease truck. He said he got his pistol on him. So I got to thinking. I said, wait a minute. It may not be as bad as you think. So you didn't tell him to do it. You didn't really give him no advice. But I'm going to give you some advice. This is what I would do. You know that the rates are not as good. Now, depending on his situation, let's just say, for example, let's say he's trying to use that lease truck to pay all the bills, and maybe it's people living with him, he's the only one working. If that's the situation, what you need to do, start stacking some cash. And I mean start stacking cash heavy for a good six months. I give you about six months. When this house going to foreclosure, you'll be right there to pick it up. 